Hey guys, Jan here in the Northview Model Shop, and by the Jesus, it's Sunday night, and it's time to gossip once again. I'm excited, I'm excited. Of course, we're all excited. Dr. Cranky is back, and he's back with a vengeance. Jeez, three videos quickly, that. Bang, bang, bang. And um, that friggin' CT speed job, he beat me. Uh, he beat me to one. I think Rick Sink got the second, and I ended up, I was lucky I got the third one for first of view. It was a bit of an ongoing game we have had, but... Uh, Anyway, guys, we'll get Dr. Cranky here in a, in a few minutes, but um, really excited. Let's see here. These are blank ones. All right, we've got our cue cards, and we've only got a short time before the video won't upload, so let's get at it or try to keep up. All right, speaking of Rick Sink, let's get to Rick Sink right away. I hope I pronounced that right. He's got some new kits. He just put the video up when we were uh, putting our notes together. Uh, he bought some new kits there, and they came in. Uh, the ones that I seen were all the Revell ones, obviously, the uh, Ram Charger, the 57 Ford Gasser, and the 48 Ford Popo car, the old police car. Um, I'm really hoping to see that Ram Charger be built up. That's kind of looking cool. Um, Show Rod Garage has got a question. He's doing um, he's doing all the crazy looking cop car stuff, the paddy wagon and a couple others there. And uh, he's worried about the chrome, uh, the gold plating, and he wants them all to look the same. So he wanted to know, can you strip it, and if so, He's laying down acrylic primer. The paint he wants to use is a lacquer paint. Can he lay the lacquer over top of the primer? And if so, which is the best color primer to lay down to get the best possible gold out of that? Great question. Uh, it's got me kind of itchy because I have the paddy wagon kit up there. He's got the original. I've got a repop. Kind of want to give her a shot. Try it myself. Dave Parker is uh, posting videos again, like we said before, he's one of our, you're, we're a big fan of Dave Parker, so uh, we follow him quite closely. Uh, he's quite excited too, he watched Dr. Cranky videos, we see he was close to comment right after us too, so he was watching, he was ready to go, um, and uh, he's excited and fired up now again, and I find the doctor does that, kind of brings everyone together. Uh, he's working on his gasser for the, uh, the Chevy Cheeseburger Top 10 gasser. And he's had some trouble with that. He, uh, apparently, uh, if you watch the video, he talks about uh, accidentally dropping the body at one point and getting a little dinged up. So, tune into that. Hopefully, Dave, because that's all cleaned up. Doesn't look too bad, though. Uh, Dr. Cranky, like I said, is back with three videos. We got. We knew he was posting on Friday because he put the upcoming video up. I checked my phone every 25 to 30 minutes at work. Don't tell the boss. Uh, I checked my YouTube to see if there was a notification there for it. It was not. So, when I got home at 3.30, I uh, made some popcorn, and we sat as a family around the ta around the TV with the, with the old Google Chromecast, cast to the uh, YouTube, <laughs> and uh, I hit reload about every two minutes, waiting for it, waiting for it, waiting for it. And the young fellow was sitting in my lap, and he dropped something. I picked up. I hit reload. Boom! 20 seconds ago, video was loaded. Clicked on it. CT speech off. First of you. Anyway, we'll get him back. We'll get him back. But no, we're really excited for you to be back. Looks like he's working on a 30, the 30 Model A, the Model Coupe, whatever the hell it's called there. So uh, no progress videos yet, but hopefully soon he'll have one up there. Average scale modeler 77. Son, your stash, not your mustache, but your stash dash, your kit stash will grow from four kits to 40 to 400 before you know it. So don't get the uh, don't get uh, too excited. Don't don't think you can keep your stash your stash kit uh, low. I said the same thing. I'm not gonna have a lot of kits, and there's more there that I can build in a lifetime now. So, and I don't have that many apparently. So, son, it'll come to you. Uh, guys, check out Average Scale Motor 77. His P40 he just finished off, and he did it under 15 days, which was his goal, and he did it. And uh, his video, he's actually pretty hard on himself about it. Son, don't be upset. You did really good. Uh, everyone that, that I've talked to has shared the video. Says, man, it's a great job. So. He, doing great. He's mostly a plane builder and he does excellent work and he's building up the storms. So guys, let's support this guy a little bit. Andy's Hobby Headquarters. We watch him play red religiously. Uh, his videos are great. Long, 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 long videos, but he, he overlays them with classical music. We love that. So we were watching that. He built an Abrams. Uh, it was, I think, Academy sent him one to test. But you know you've made it big in YouTube when companies start sending you stuff to do. That's pretty cool. So he got that out. Um, just a great build. Don't get me wrong. The build's great. It looks awesome. I'm just not a fan of the new tanks. Anything modern era doesn't seem to really tickle my fancy. I kind of like the old uh, World War II stuff. That's just cool and weird and uh, odd. But um, oh well, it is what it is, right? But uh, it looks cool. 
Lynn's Hot Rod Shop. There, he's building a Peterbilt. You don't see many videos from him, but he got a Peterbilt build up. I guess I'm going to assume it's the Snap Tight, uh, well, what we call Snap Tight kit, but it's actually level two. Uh, the Peterbilt 359 conventional. Uh, the motor looks great. He's doing a lot of work, and his stuff is super, super, super detailed. So this is looking really great. He's just Get the motor, I think, pretty well together and all weathered up. He's starting to do some primer and some painting and some washes and stuff. So it's looking great. That kit there, though, the uh, the uh, the 359 and the uh, the Kenworth, awesome kits, great kits to get uh, young people started. It's great kits for us uh, amateurs to get uh, to get customized. And it's really a really great kit for the pros to really do the magic with. Atomic Dog, he's mixing um, Star Wars with uh, these orcs. Uh, one of these walking a at that 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 I don't know what they're called. The, not the big at, at walkers, but the smaller ones. Yeah, I guess you can mix them with these orcs from Warhammer and doing stuff. So he's doing that up and it looks super cool. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Speaking of Warhammer and all that stuff, um, old Gilbert there with Styrene Syndicate, the Red Model Dragon, Red Model Dragon Works, whatever it's called. I gotta get straight. Uh, he's building some Imperial Knights, and these things he's painted are doing like this cobalt plasma blue or something. Holy lord, they look amazing. Gil, post some update videos and some progress on that. That looks freaking cool. And I kicked myself in the net because I didn't make the hangout the other night. And I bet you he was working on it there. So that kind of sucks. All right, guys. That's it for uh, catching up on some stuff. Hopefully I didn't miss it. Too many people there. Let's talk about the Winorski Model Show. Guys, we've been working really hard on our Burkeale Scale Model Show. Uh, thank you a million guys for the support there. You guys have been checking out the videos. We're not getting a load of views. We're getting around 50 to 60 views for our sponsors, which can be expected, you know, because not that entertaining. But guys, thanks a million. If you do get a chance, pop over and say thanks to our sponsors. Super cool. Get excited. It's coming down the wire. We're under two weeks away. Uh, stuff is rolling in. We have guys from YouTube that have donated kits. And guys, when we do post videos for them, please, please, please pop over to their channels and give them a like and give them a subscription. These guys donated the kits that they already bought and paid for, which is cool, but then they turn around and dump money into shipping. And shipping is insanely expensive these days for some god awful reason. And it takes forever to get there. So, guys, they, they, they really stepped up and they put some money into it. Gil can contest that. I, I, after the 48 hour build, he dumped a lot of money into shipping stuff to people. So, hats off to those guys. Um, model related questions at work. I had a, guy, a couple guys come to me looking for some model related questions, and I won't divulge on what it was for. But uh, they were looking for uh, how to take some model car stuff and do work it to make it into actually a very large scale, large company's project. Uh, we ended up steering away from a model car, but it looked like we got into them and some scratch building stuff, getting some bulk styrene, some evergreen styrene, and building this display, and then using some roller or some uh, skateboard trucks to represent wheels and tires, and then they would take the project, throw their staff project that way. So it's kind of cool. Um, exciting, we'll let you guys know if that pans out. Um, decals, 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 decals. We had to go to the store today to grab some clear coats because we were out of our, of our uh, doll. Oh, sorry, our flat doll. But, uh, man, oh man, man, I'm going to do some videos coming up, but I can't believe it. I, I, I'm, I'm dealing with silvering really bad, and it's funny because now I understand what one of my buddies, so Scott over at Elm City Hobby, was talking about one time was you always lay down your clears, your, your gloss clears. Like, you don't gloss clear a tank, it'll look stupid. Now I know why. Your gloss goes down, your decals go on, then your flats go over top of that, and then everything works out great. So I bought some of this, I'm gonna do some experimental videos on that and explain the lesson I've learned. Very difficult today, but you know what? The decals aren't so bad on it, we'll do a video later on. Uh, man, I'm getting itchy to start a new kit. But I got so much other ones started here, I, I, I really got to get them finished off first. So, and the model show's coming up. So, after Bible Hill, we might probably dip into another kit. There's a lot of guys starting some cool kits out there, and I just kind of want to get on it. But finish what we started, I suppose. Um, guys, you just seen there, it should come out just for this one. We did the tour of Oak Island. And I, guys, I know you're going to get some thumbs down because that's not model related. But you'll see we did take a picture in the museum of a scale model of the island. Whoever did it did amazingly cool work. It's very well detailed and all the points are laid out. All the tree work is really good. We actually watched a video from Andy's Hobby Headquarters where he built a, uh, it's an older video, but he built uh, a wood scene and it looks really cool. Kind of something we might try someday just as a side project, but it looks like neat. Um, I think I'm going to do another video up as well. The boy's been, uh, I set him up with a bench just behind the camera here and he's been building some really neat stuff. 
Uh, he's built, a, he, I got acquired an Enterprise that was in about 10 pieces. He's able to put that all back together and glued it really good. He's built in the Reliance, uh, Star Trek, and he's got a motorcycle and go, and he's got an old helicopter that I put together real quick last summer. And uh, he actually just taped it and did a bunch of, uh, bunch of layering of paint and it actually turned out really cool and he's only eight so that was pretty neat so anyway guys that is it for this week thanks for tuning in guys if you like what you're seeing hit the like button really really appreciate it if you really like what you see you don't want to miss no more videos from us hit the subscribe button and on the same note if you don't want to see no more videos from us go up there and hit that subscribe button it'll unsubscribe but uh, don't do that we like our subscribers a lot all right guys thanks for millions thanks for tuning in We'll see you next week, hopefully with some more great content throughout the week. And of course, as always, every Sunday night, we gossip. All right, audio.